Hey cute people, it's me, no makeup. Now you guys can see why I always wear the dark shades. And you see I have new eyebrows. <laughs> Little eyebrows, I should say. When I was young, my stepfather told me, you have the best brows ever. Why? Because you can make them into anything you want. So I'm just going to play in some makeup. And the first thing I'm going to do with Elf's brow brush is just brush my brows into some type of shape. I don't have to really worry much because as you can see I don't have much but I try to do the best that I can. I hate doing my brows. So I'm going to use Wet n Wild's eyebrow pencil and this color is dark brown. And the reason why I say I hate doing my brows is because and you would think that I would like it because since mine are very sparse and I can, you know, pretty much put them into any shape that I want. But it's just that they never come out the way that I want them to. One to come out thin and nice and the other one to come out full and nice. But, um, this whatever. And then I use the... Maybelline Ultra Brow Kit in Dark Brown just to lighten up the um, dark brown pencil because I feel sometimes the dark brown pencil is a little too dark for me. I know my hand should be a lot lighter and that'll help a lot. But I feel with the um, brow powder from Maybelline kind of softens it up a little bit. And then going back over my eyebrows with the um, brow brush helps a lot with lightening them up a little bit even though I don't have to do all that but it works for me then I'm going to use Wet n Wild's Cover All Liquid Concealer along with Sephora's Brow Brush and then I'm going to just outline my eye and clean it up um, most likely make my brows a little thinner especially on the tail because it's a little fuller than I would like it to be. And like I said with my brows, I'm going to be doing much more than I'm going to be showing you. Because they never come out the way I want them to. So I'm always refining and defining them all over again. And then I'm going to use Elf's foundation brush because as you can see, it's much bigger and then I use that because I use a very fine line when it comes to the concealer because I don't want to be blending forever then I'm going to use Maybelline's fit me in the color 355 which I really really like this concealer for me what I had on my wrist my hand is a little bit more than what I would normally use I use such a little bit and because I don't have a lot of blemishes on my face it works very very well for me I fast forward it here because it takes me for I blend like crazy. I just blend so much. I should be blending skin off my face. But um yeah, I do a lot of blending. Then I'm going to use City Colors Shadow Primer. That's cute with a little diamond, right? This video I'm going to be using quite a few items from City Color because they sent me some stuff a while ago. And I wanted to do this sooner, but this was the earliest I can do it. And I really like these cosmetics. And the price is awesome. Then I'm going to use their big jumbo eye pencil. And this pencil comes in, I think, about 18 different colors. I can't remember offhand um, I, what the price was, but trust me when I tell you, very inexpensive. As a matter of fact, $1.99. Yes. And that is a great price. And I'm using this pretty much as a base. As you can see, for me, it would make a nice color um, eyeshadow. But um, I'm just going to use it as a base. As you can see, it's not very dark in color, or very pronounced in color. But it does just what I needed to do. And like I said, I really like it. It goes on very smooth. 
if you guys get a chance, check out citycolors.com. You will definitely love it. Just like I love this eyeshadow palette here from City Color. I've used it quite a bit, and trust me, you, you can't go wrong with this palette. It has 10 different colors, which I'm going to show you as soon as I open up the palette. I guess I had some kind of problems, technical difficulties. And the colors are gorgeous. It comes in two palettes. I have the greens and browns, and then you have the other one, which is the blues and the purples. And I'm going to use this brush here by Sephora, and it's the Blending Eye Brush. I love Sephora's brushes. They're very, very nice. They're not very expensive at all. Much more than e.l.f., of course, but less than MAC. And you can see the color that I'm using. I'm putting it over my brow because I really, really like this color. I think it's so, so pretty. And it's not overwhelming. And if you remember, I didn't put any primer or any base on that part of my eye and look at the color payoff the color payoff is is very very nice and I love this color on me then I'm gonna go into the dark brown color and I'm gonna use the same brush that I had which was the um, blending eye from Sephora and then I'm gonna put that brown right on, on top of that um, brick color the dark brown right on top of the brick color and I have to say I love these two colors mixed together they are so pretty with just a little bit of that brick coming through then I'm using this light goldish color and then I'm going to use another brush by elf and this is their defining eye brush and I'm just going to use it because I like the angle. I'm just going to use it to put a little highlight on my brow. Just a little bit. By the time I finish blending it in, you wouldn't even see it anyway. <laughs> but um, I love this palette. Unfortunately, it only comes in um, two different um, selections. But it's $6.99. And when I wear it, the colors... They stay on my eye, yes they do, for quite some time. I think the most I may wear makeup in a given day is maybe seven to eight hours. And these colors with me all that time. I love these colors, this palette. I have some other um, eyeshadow palettes that they sent me to. And as soon as I can, I'm going to um, show you guys what I come up with those also but I've worn quite a few of these colors here and I really like this palette so when you get a chance check out citycolors.com unfortunately I had a um, coupon code but that expired and hopefully you got a chance to um, use it and check them out but if not go over there anyway the makeup is reasonably priced so you won't be breaking a bank then I'm going to use that green color, the apple green color, which I really, really like. Now I want you to pay attention to this because a lot of times when we swatch colors, we always say, oh, it's so pigmented. We put it on our finger, we put it on our hand. But to me, a pigmented color, a color with a lot of pigmented, or that's pigmented, I should say, and um, really has great payoff to me is what does it look like when it's on my eyebrow. And as you can see, the best that my camera can show you, you can see that green on my eyes. And remember, I used the um, Jumbo Eye Pencil as a base. And I got great color payout. Well, payout, I should say, is what I'm looking for, a payout. <laughs> but I should say payoff. But you guys know what I mean. You watch enough videos to know. And then I'm going to use the brush by Sephora and I'm just going to blend that green out a little bit because I don't want it to be too harsh you know because the green is a very light color and I don't want it to be so harsh that you just see a straight line that's that's not cute we don't want that 
so I'm using the blending eye brush and just getting that color to blend seamlessly and with the colors that I put on top of my crease over my crease but I will have to say I really do like City Color Cosmetics I don't know if you've ever heard of them before but I've heard that they were in Rite Aid I haven't seen them in Rite Aid I don't know if they're always there let me just say I've seen one or two items in Rite Aid but I haven't seen the whole collection or a whole lot of different pieces then I'm gonna go back in with the brown the dark brown and then I'm going to use Sephora's rounded smudge brush only because I just want to put a little bit of the brown um, in my eye out of V and even though you can't really see it much it does show up I wish this palette had a uh, black color in it eyeshadow then I will be able to give this palette a 10.5 but right now I'm going to give it a 10 because all the colors and I've tried quite a few I like them and they really do show up for me because as you can see I'm not light and I didn't use a white base and I didn't even use black underneath and it gives me great color payoff now I'm going into that jade green and I'm going to be using a brush by Sephora and that is their rounded crease brush because I just want to put a little bit of that green in my crease I just want to give that lighter green a little bit of definition so it won't just be like green and then the brown that I use above my crease nothing fancy just giving the green some depth, giving my eyes some depth. Because I told you guys before, I like to keep everything, and I really do mean keep everything so simple. You want to look cute, you want to be cute, but I don't want to do a lot of work. I see a lot of young ladies, remember now, I'm going to say it again, this is a 50-year-old face, so I'm trying to be as minimal as possible for the best effect. That's how I do my hair, treat my hair, and that's how I do my makeup very very simple nothing too complex but still want to look very very cute so I'm just gonna put some of that green in my um, eyebrow now one of my favorite things that I love more than anything is the hip color truth cream eyeliner and this is 905 black I love this stuff I don't know if you've ever used it before but you should try it I've had it quite some time it has not dried out on me at all and as you can see that I use another brush by elf and the brush that I used was the angle brush well they call it the eyeliner brush I should say it's not an angle brush even though it's you know sharp but it's the eyeliner brush and like I said it's by ELF ELF has some really great brushes I really really do like them I have quite a bit of them and I will say they really do the job now I'm using ELF's um, eyeliner but I'm not really gonna go too much into that because I don't have any eyebrows either eyelashes I should say and it took me like forever to pump them up a little bit I should have put on some lashes but I really didn't want to now something else I just used which is one of my favorite things in the world is the Avon big color pencil and the color I was using was night is night glisten and I use it pretty much just to line my eye on the bottom I love that stuff and then as you can see I'm using the Studio Secrets Anti-Dull Skin Primer by L'Oreal and this is the medium deep skin color and I'm using it's pretty much like a peachy color um, I use it I really didn't have to use it with this foundation but I decided to try to do as much as I can to make sure that the um, dark circles won't show through so you won't see them and this really does a great job I really like it I heard about this particular product from Destiny Godly 
I love that girl, how she puts on some makeup. I'm telling you, she she do the thing. But um, yeah, it's more like a color corrector. And then I'm going to use a product by MAC that I have pretty much mixed emotions about. And this is the Pro Long Concealer. I don't remember what color it was. And then it, the color is so small, I can't even tell you what color it is. Then as you can see, I'm using the ELF foundation brush again. And um, then I use the brush to give me a straight line for my eyeshadow. Whichever way I decided to do it for whatever day, just that day I decided to keep it kind of kind of clean. And then I just pat, 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 no rubbing because I don't want to disturb the color corrector that's underneath. Sometimes it seems the best way for me to blend is by using my fingers because then it gives you a nice seamless look where everything just blends in. And the um, concealer that I'm using is pretty much my complexion. I have another one that I use if I wanted to highlight, but we're not highlighting today. We're keeping it casual. And then I'm going to use NYC's smooth skin loose powder and the color is translucent and I always make a mess with this stuff always all the time then I'm going to use Elf's complexion brush and I just sweep 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 this stuff is probably going wherever it may have gone but I'm just sweeping for dear life because I don't want none of that stuff to show up on my face white <laughs> I told you I do some things excessively but that's just me and then I'm going to use max mineralized skin finish and the color is dark that's the color that I use and like I said I I'm going to use a brush I don't really care for. I don't know why I use the brush I'm going to be using. Hold on, you'll see in one second. Yes, it's a brush from Rite Aid Renewal. And I don't know, it's like a stipple brush, whatever you want to call it. It's so thin, I don't know. I could use it for a lot of other things, but for some reason I picked it up to do this and I don't know why. But it did okay. And then I guess you guys know what this is. This is MAC Raisin. I love it because this is like the everyday go-to natural color. And I'm using Elf's Blush Brush. When it comes to blush, I try to use as little as possible. I don't know why. I guess now because I'm 50, I have to remember to not use a lot of makeup. I never did anyway. But I want the color to show. To give me the color that I'm looking for. But I don't want it to be too pronounced on my face. So you can see. If you just glance at me. You might not even know I have it on. But I have it on. I like it. And I love these elf brushes too. That's another thing I wanted to say to you guys. And I put a little bit on top of my head just to bring some color to my face. I won't just look like um, a foundation chick. I need some color in my face. So I'm bringing some back with the um, blush. Because like I said, for me, I just want to keep things oh so simple. At least I try anyway. I'm always looking for something. What am I looking for now? Okay, now this is something by e.l.f. I can't think of what the name of it is, but you've probably seen it before. I'll try to put it in the description box. And I'm going to use it as a highlighter. Excuse me. To def You hear me? I'm going to use it to contour my nose. I don't really contour. But um, I just wanted to see what this would look like. It's not really dark, so you don't see it that much. I can tell that I have it on. It's really, really light. But um, I brought it from Dills. No, 
from Jack's 99 cent store for a dollar. And I keep looking at it like, how do I want to use this? I figured I'd try it this way. Like you, you can see that it's brown, but it's not really a dark color. But I decided to use it. And then I used it with um, Elf's Blending Eye Brush. And I keep messing with it, keep messing with it. I'm not sure why. But like I said, I don't think you can see it much, but that's okay. Because I don't want to look too made up. <laughs> you know I have on makeup. And this is something I re oh my goodness, y'all. This is something that I really, really like. I'm telling you. This is City Color, another product by them. This is their two-tone lip color. And I love this stuff. This stuff is like so groovy it goes on so nice and so smooth look at it it's nice it's creamy it, it it just glides on my lips this is not a color that i would normally wear but i like how it looks though i like how it looks in the video i like how it just wakes up my whole makeup look and then i'm using a lip pencil by Wet and Wild. I love their lip pencils. And this color here is Chestnut. And I'm just using it to tone down some of that pink. Because like I said, pink is not really my color. Not this way anyway. I will wear pink. But it has to have a touch of maybe some wine in it. A little bit of brown in it. So that's why I'm using the Chestnut lip pencil. And like I said, I'm just toning it down a little bit. To get it to look more like me. But once again about the um, City Colors lips, I hear a lot of people talk about it when I watch other reviews and people like their lips. Oh man, I wish they I would have gotten some of their matte lipsticks, but I like this one here. It feel, I'm telling you, and it stays on my lips all day. Cosmetics doesn't have to cost a lot of money. As you can see here, I use high and low. I don't really spend a lot of money on makeup. I will get what I like, but um, I can't give Mac a lot of my money. A little bit sometimes, but they can't get a lot of my money. But this is my finished final look. This is me. And you see how I toned down the lipstick a little bit? I really, really like it. So that's me, y'all. And I'm out. Peace and love, y'all share and spread love, y'all. Do it. Thanks for watching.